After a 3-0 win and a brace for Bickley, the Bulls return to Abbey Rangers and Adelson Moor for this three o'clock kickoff. A game which will mean quite a lot to both sides. Abbey Rangers sitting on 34 played, 57 points in sixth position going into this game. The Bulls in third with 64 from 33. A win for Abbey today would put them into the playoff places. A win for the Bulls would pretty much make sure that they do get through to the end of season playoffs. The pitch is soft but dry. So let's see if that has any bearing on the outcome this afternoon. Maybe a bit slippy from the rain that's been falling recently. Well, Mr. Ann just making his final checks this afternoon. And any second now, the keepers are ready. The assistants are ready. We are ready and we're underway. Gonna play it short, they do in the end. Stanek Stewart. Bit of a short ball, but whipped forward and then cut out by Campbell. And now Bickley, is this the first chance? He takes the shot and he scores. Well, Lord Bickley is in a vein of form at the moment where you give him even a sniff and he turns it in and the Bulls with their first shot of the game just in 19 minutes gone have the lead from who else? Lorne, he shoots and he scores when he wants, Bickley. Well, a little bit of a short pass here from Stanek Stewart. The ball's whipped in, trying to get it forward and then the ball back from Campbell falls to Bickley. He has a little touch, has a look up and from outside the box, Gray is beaten, has no chance with that. He couldn't have placed it better, Lorne Bickley. And it's Abbey Rangers nil, Jersey Bulls one. Lorne Bickley with his 26th goal of the season. Quick release for Giles, who has to get on his bike a bit to keep this one in. Again, plays it forward, can Barlow get there? Oisotoki comes across, Barlow's still just buzzing around him. Uh, good play again by Barlow, foul this time. Giles will take this free kick. Gray lines up a two-man wall, which will be the skipper, Watts. In it comes, far post, and it's an easy goal. It's a nod in. And this time, it's Luke Watson. Well, it couldn't have been scripted better. The ball is just clipped into the box. The delivery by Giles and the simplest of headers from Luke Watson. Well, he scored at Springfield, and now he's scored at Adelson Moore. The Bulls have a two-goal cushion. Now Watson. Chance maybe now for Trotter. Bickley's ahead of him. Trotter down the right-hand side. Just cuts inside. Plays the ball through. Bickley is there. Saved just about by Gray. Not enough power in that shot. He just needs to really lift it over the keeper here. Bickley, it would have been three. Just unable to get it over. Now it's the Bulls again with Trotter. King high foot. Giles with the ball to deliver. Movement there, in it comes. Headed on again by Watson. But this time he just can't find the target. It goes past the left hand up right. Back to Danso. Nice skill inside, twisting and turning. Gets it out to King. Can King deliver the ball in? He goes for the far post. The header comes in. And Roche does the rest. Well, just taking the catch in the end underneath the crossbar. But well, he's not had a lot to do, Piers Roche this afternoon so far, but stays alert. Balls put it forward again. Barlow is the target this time. Oris Atoki running into Trotter. Nafka nods it forward. Barlow bundled down again. Well, he has the nickname of Bundle for a reason. And Bundle just getting, just whacked in the back of the head there. And it looks like it may well be Stanek Stewart, the number five. He gets the first caution of the afternoon for the foul on Fraser Barlow. Giles just takes his time, there's bustling. In it comes, finally. Well, it's in. Somehow, it looks like it's Luke Campbell. Well, the flag has gone up, so maybe offside. Well, or maybe a bit of an infringement there. He's saying that there was a pull on the shirt. Carrod goes on his own, still going. Carrod still going. Good tackle though this time by Lacane. Is what? Well, no. Referee gives 
the free kick here. So you're going to have a word with John Lecane. Looked like it was a pretty fair tackle here. Plays the ball, but maybe just takes a piece of the man as well as Carrad goes down. Chance for the Abbey to line up their own free kick here. A yellow card for Johnny Lecane. Well, he's not happy about that, Johnny Lecane. Uh, looks like it may be a sin bit, in fact, and not a yellow card. So usually that's for back chat. So the balls will be down to 10 here for 10 minutes. What can Abby do in the meantime? So they've got that extra player here. And it comes. Misses everyone, falls to King. Can he get the shot off? He takes it onto his right foot, goes for the far corner. Well, a great save by Pierce Roche, who sees it late. Here come Abby again. This time it's Murdoch with a shot who hooks it over the bar, but Pierce Roche there. You can see the ball coming in. Nobody gets a touch on it in the end. And the shot that comes from King over everybody, and it's Roche who keeps his eye on it and pours it away to keep the balls two goals to the good. And in the end, Murdoch blasts it over. Well, Lecane is back on, just nipped on while no one was looking. His 10 minutes in the bin are up. The ball's back to 11. Nafka pressured though. And then the ball ricochets forward, but Roche is there first. So it's coming off Curtis there. Now Lecane looks to thread it through for Bickley. Can he get the shot in from the angle? He hits a side netting in the end. Lorne Bickley, another chance there for him. Just can't quite get it in between the keeper and the post. Carry with the free kick just inside the Abbey half. Plays it across to the far side of the box. Trotter jumps, Bickley does as well. Neither get onto it, but it falls to Barlow. Barlow just holding it up. The Roostail with a shot. Oh, it hits the bar. Wow, Bella Roostail just has a little sighter there, just has a little touch and a look up and bang. Was a rattler on the crossbar from Bella Roostail. It was dipping as well at the end. It just couldn't bend under enough. And it comes. Flicked on was Watson. Well, oh, penalty. It didn't look like Watson was absolutely manhandled in the box there. He's trying to get to win the ball, and he's looks like it may well be Stanek Stewart. Now, if he's conceded that and he's already been booked, should he not be booked again? Question mark. And if he is, he'd be off because Stanek Stewart's already been given a caution. The penalty is the only penalty, as it were. It's going to be Bickley. Can he make it number 27? Up steps Bickley. It's saved. Well, he goes the right way. Gray makes a good save, but the whistle is blown. It's going to be a retake here. Well, it's all starting to happen in this last few minutes. Has Gray moved too soon? Well, it looks like Gray may have come off his line before the ball is struck, which he can't do. And if that's right, that's the right decision. Gray readies himself. Up he steps this time. And he goes the other way and he buries it into the net. This time Gray doesn't move. And when he does, the ball's already past him. It's Jersey Bulls with their third of the afternoon. It's Lorne Bickley with his second. And you'd have to say that that is game, set and match here at Adelston at Moore. Abbey Rangers have no way back from this. The ball is clearly in the net before Gray moves. It was only the fact he got off his line in the first penalty that he could actually make the save. This time he can't. And it's pretty much all over bar the shouting here at Abbey Rangers. Croydon have got a second. So they now go back to sixth. All change in the last few minutes as forward come Abbey. This time with Carrod. And then Curtis gets across. Free kick given. Bulls hold the line by the penalty spot. It's finally played towards the far post. Curtis with the header. Roche goes down. Flag is up. Maybe it's the foul that he's seen on the far side, the assistant. Roche just caught there. Well, there's no subs in the goalkeeping department today, but we've seen Luke Watson don the green before, and that's it for Stanek Stewart. Well, he was lucky perhaps to have stayed on 
following the penalty that he gave away on the foul on Barlow. But this time, it may be that he's gone one step too far. Looks like he may well have stood on Pierce Roche there. And Stanek Stewart protests as he goes, but he's been sent off in the 92nd, 93rd minute here. Well, foul there in the middle by Curtis. Just pulls down Murdoch, who's been pretty much absent without leave this second half. Not seen much of him at all. Got a bit of joy down the left-hand side in the first half, although not much created, but still was definitely more in the game than he has been in this second half. And just feel that both sides have been waiting for this whistle to blow. And there it is. Well, it's all over at Adelston Moor. The Jersey Bulls get their second 3-0 victory in a row on the road, this time against Abbey Rangers. The goals from Lorne Bickley on 19 and Watson on 38 in the first half. And then the penalty on the retake by Lorne Bickley on 85 for the foul on Watson. Gives the Jersey Bulls what is in the end a pretty comfortable 3-0 victory here. Well, that is going to be the end of the action this afternoon. There will be more action in a week's time when the Bulls come back to the mainland where they take on Tooting and Mitchum next Saturday. Well, a good performance in the end. Comfortable win for the Jersey Bulls. Two more goals for Lorne Bickley. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.